Sir, I don't know how to explain to you the fact that your presence with a black woman is triggering. As much as it's triggering to see a white woman with a black man. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omomi aka Petit Diva and in this video we're discussing about a particular video where a white guy came online to say that he's reluctant to date black women because of the experience he had dating some black women and his video actually created a little bit of mess and drama that you have to watch to the end to find out about the drama but let's check out his video and then i'll come back to share my thoughts on it so the reason i hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women is because i've been on dates with three different black women and on literally every single date, I have had a black man, not every black man, but at least one black man like glare at us or be kind of aggressive toward us. And at first, with those first two dates, I was kind of like, am I looking for it? Am I being insecure? Like, is there something, you know, maybe kind of like some implicit racism or something in myself that I'm just like sensitive to that kind of thing, right? Or like creating it, you know what I mean? But on the third date, I, we had an experience that kind of just solidified the fact that it was happening where we were walking uh, on, uh, on the Montreal Canal, right? Like middle of the day. And there was these three black men who were standing there. And as we were walking by, none of them were looking at me. And at this point, I was like, I fully admit that at this point, I was like, kind of like looking for it. I was like waiting for it to happen because of these past two experiences. But none of them looked at me. But one of them actually like was mean mugging her and like step toward her to like kind of like have this like like throwing a, an ugly face toward her or something like a glare at her and that experience just kind of confirmed the fact that it was happening on those other dates and i just like looking at that like it just shocked me because I, I wasn't prepared for that at all like i never thought like something like that would happen um and so i guess the point of this TikTok is just to ask like has this happened to anyone else, like, is this something that's just like I've experienced or is this like a very common thing? Um, because like it even was worse than that, where like at the end of that date, we were walking to the metro. And I haven't dated a black woman since because of this. But we were we ran into her hairdresser and uh, her hairdresser's partner. They're both black. And they were talking, the hairdresser and this girl I was on a date with. And I start I tried talking to the the guy. And he would just get, like give me one word answers, right? And he wouldn't really like look at me as I was like trying to talk to him. Um, and at some point I just like stopped talking to him, stopped trying to have a conversation because it was just like clear he didn't want to talk to me. And so like to have those like glaring experiences and then like the throwing a glare at her, it's like stepping forward in an aggressive way. And then to just be like completely ignored by this guy, I was just like really, sh again, just like shocked. I guess I'm just like confused by it because I, I wasn't expecting like that much hostility for me being a white guy trying to date black women right and so i guess like again like is this an experience that the people have had uh i'm just curious now he talked about the fact that when he was on some dates with some black women that he felt a particular kind of way when black men were looking at him in a particular way, he felt it was strange and he felt it was hostile. He also talked about the fact that when he was on a date with a particular black woman, that she saw some people that she knew and they were black and they were kind of ignoring him and giving him a cold shoulder. So he felt like um, for him to be dating black women, he's going to see a lot of um resistance from black men and it's an uncomfortable feeling to him so that's why he is no longer kind of interested in dating black women now a lot of people had things to say about his video so let's check them out i hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women is because because you're not into black women because if you're that bitch made to have other men determine what kind of women you should be into you're just not into him that much. So I've been in a relationship with a white man for about a year and a half. And if people looked at him, probably yeah. He had family members talk shit. He's had coworkers talk shit. 
he gets looks. We get looks every now and then. Other than the fact that he defends me and our relationship, he don't give a fuck because he loves me. And when a man loves you or anyone loves you, they don't give a damn what people think, let alone another stranger and strange men. That's just a bad excuse. Boy, bye. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women. A uh, hot take. Not everyone needs hurt out. <laughs> Not. The books behind him are very convincing. I'm not, they're very convincing, but not everyone needs hurt out. Sometimes you just got to shut up. The reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women. We don't get we don't Go on ahead and talk about something else on your little videos because we don't get fucked. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women. Sip tea with me, y'all. Is because you like black men. I mean, this whole story you told, you mentioned the black woman once, but the rest of the story was you checking out black men. I mean, it's 2023. Be your authentic self. If, if you like black men, just tell the truth. But like, I haven't heard somebody tell a story about dating and, and not really mention women. And the whole story was about them checking out black men. I mean, that's cool, bro. Be your authentic self. But like, don't put down black women because you might be on the down low and are interested in black men because that whole story you mentioned the black woman once but the whole story was about you checking out black men i mean that's cool man I'm, that's cool also some deep-seated internalized racism there but i mean that's that's your own thing but yeah you have the day you deserve so the reason i hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women Hi, if you have time, go back and watch the original video. I'm going to address this. My entire life, I have attracted and dated Caucasian men. Now, having said that, my entire life also, I have had black men call me skinny, ugly, too smart for my own goddamn good, all the while with white men, white women on their arms. My entire life. Now, this is what, this is the point. They're not mad at you, honey. It's a form of intimidation, so you never look at us again. Because even though they say they don't want us, we're ugly, we're too black, we're too light, they will find something wrong with a black woman. Not all, but many out there, you hear their voices. It's a form of intimidation. They don't want you with us, and they don't want us happy. They're trying to intimidate you, and it's working. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black Yes. Um, this has happened to me multiple times. Um, I will be on a date with a non-black man and a black man will glare at me from across the room. Um, sometimes they will get really, really close and almost become physically aggressive towards me. Um, now, I'm old and I ignore them. Um, but they will literally come close and glare like they're trying to send me a message. Um, on one date I went on, we were in an elevator and there were two black men there and they were being so aggressive toward me that my partner had to come up behind me and stand between us because they looked like they were going to physically do something. Um, so yes. Um, you will find that black men do not like um, black women dating anyone other than black men. Um, now, I've never heard of anybody being attacked, but what they're trying to do is literally scare you away. That's the whole purpose of all of that. Um, they want to intimidate her, which with me doesn't work. I'm too old to be intimidated. Um, but they want to scare you away from her because uh, there is a sense of entitlement and ownership that Black men, even I've had black men who are literally sitting at the table across from me with their non-black partner glaring at me. I could care less about them, but he's glaring at me. So uh, the answer is yes. It's, it's not your imagination. They are extremely aggressive sometimes, um, but this is all a scare tactic. They don't want black women dating anyone other than them. So if you, you know, if you like black women, you, you got to be able to withstand that. And some, some men cannot. Um, I saw a video recently of a young woman who said just that. Uh, it was too much pressure for the man she was dating. 
Um, uh, for the most guys I date, though, they didn't have a problem with it because um, at that point, we had reached a point in our relationship where it was like, we're not backing down. We're just not. Um, so you, you kind of have to make a choice. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women um, who the hell asked this question? Just who, who wanted the answer to this? I am confusion. Just unprovoked black women just minding our own business. And here we are in a conversation that we didn't ask for. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women. So I'm going to encourage you guys to go back and watch his whole video. Take a second, like I always do. I'll wait. You gonna go? Okay. So now that you're back, um, let's talk about this. So, <sighs> sir, I don't know how to explain to you the fact that your presence with a black woman is triggering. As much as it's triggering to see a white woman with a black man. Um, if you are attracted to black women, this is just something you're going to have to put up with. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, because at the end of the day, it's triggering. No matter if it's a white woman with a black man or a black woman with a white man. It's a triggering thing because it's such a big issue in both our communities. It feels like a betrayal of the race on both sides of the, of the of this argument. So with that being said, you now have to realize that you are literally on the front lines at this moment. So you protect that woman and stand up for her that you're that you're with or you simply don't date black women because I hate to break it to you. This is just going to be a thing. Does it make it right? No, no, it does not. But it is a fact of life. You know, it's just like black people walking into an all white establishment and feeling extremely uncomfortable because we know we're getting looked at like we don't belong there. What you were feeling in that that sense that made you look for it was feeling as if you were uncomfortable standing next to her. You 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 didn't feel like you had a right to be there. Well, that's how black people feel in general around a bunch of white people. Welcome to the club. Hi, we have T-shirts. Um, So. That's not a bad thing, especially when you can stand on your ground and say that I'm okay with this. I don't care what you think or how you feel about it. I want to be with this black woman. She makes me happy. I'm excited to be standing next to her. You can mean mug all you want to, jump stupid, and you're going to find out what white privilege look like. That's what you got to act like. That's what you got to act like. Because at the end of the day, that's all there is. You can't do nothing else. You can't be nothing else. You white. She black. It is what it is. We live in this world where this distraction of racism is prevalent. Okay? So, deal with it. You like black women? We like white men. We out here dating them. We all live in our best lives. There's a lot of white men out here with happy black wives. Do yourself a favor. Just stand up for it. Or, ignore it. Have a good day. So, the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women so if you've seen the video or if you haven't seen the video, he is just talking about how he was on three different dates with three different black women and every single date he either got like a stare or a black man said something to him. So me personally, I have dated outside of my race. I don't have a problem dating outside of my race, nor do I have a problem with dating people within my race. Um, the last two relationships that I was in, they were with white men and I've never really experienced anyone saying anything to me, but I have experienced uh, the stares. I have experienced recently the the newest guy that I've been seeing, he's white, and I have experienced people saying things to us. Well, to me specifically, um, one time a guy in passing, he said traitor, and he was a black man, and he obviously was talking to me. And then on New Year's, another guy, which I didn't hear it, he heard it and told me about it, but the guy was like, oh, I see that we're bringing interracial relationships into 2023. And for me, I just ignore people. If people aren't getting physical with me in any type of way, then I feel like whatever you say to me, it's like, okay, whatever. Like, you're you're obviously just ignorant if, if you're even saying something like that. So I just ignore people. But I feel like 
whatever isn't considered the norm like if you are in a wheelchair or if you're missing a leg or if you're missing an arm or if you have pink hair or you're dressed a certain way that doesn't fit what people call consider the norm people are going to stare people are going to say something so i just feel like that's just another one of those things and you kind of just have to ignore it and i mean if this guy chooses not to date black women because of it then so be it me personally i think that if you truly like the person who you are with um and they just happen to be black and those are some things that make you know arise then you just have to kind of deal with it and you have to kind of um figure out how you're going to deal with it when you face things like that but you know if you choose to not date someone that's black because of it then so be it live your life do you <laughs> so the reason i hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black Good morning, good afternoon. I don't know if you've come to the realization that this video probably should have never happened, but it is not going in the direction that you planned it. You were being cooked in the comments. Some would say, fried to perfection. The delete feature is always available for you to use. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just letting you know about your resources. If it was me, I would delete that video. I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women. Now, mind you, I never thought that I had to tell this story, but as soon as he told his little fabrication, I was like, let me tell my story. I got several of these. So years back, when I was working on the set of Boston Public, I met my homeboy, Yosel. Now, me and Yosel found out that we had a lot in common. He's Cuban, I'm Haitian. We went to rival high schools. He gra he's class of 98, I'm class of 99. We found out that we had so much in common. You know, we became thick as thieves. Now, I thought long and hard if I was going to put Yosel's picture in this video. Here he is. Mm-hmm. Remember. All right. So I call him up. I'm like, hey, I'm going to Palmdale. You want to come along? He was like, what are you going to do in Palmdale? I'm like, I'm going to go see some apartment. He's like, hell yeah. Okay. So we're driving 20 minutes into a drive. I'm like, I ain't ever doing this drive. Alina, why are you playing with yourself? Because to get to Palmdale was like a 45 minute hour drive. And I'm like, working in Burbank? Nah, mm -mm, let's go. Mm -mm, we ain't doing this. But I, I continue to go to Palmdale and Lancaster specifically because I, I like to see apartments. So I decided to go. So on our way back. Um, we get stopped by the cops. The cop is driving behind me for a good millisecond. I pull over to the side. And when I get pulled over to the side, the guy was like, oh, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no, there shouldn't be a reason. I wasn't speeding. Everything is legit. Now what's going on? He was like, your license plate is expired. I said, that's impossible. And by that time, um, I had an actual like T-Mobile sidekick, you know, the screen going up, you go on in that. So when I get my license registration, he's going to the car. I'm over here looking at my license plate because in the Florida system, you can look up your license plate. Your license plate will tell you if it's valid or not, even with your license. Anyways, so he comes back and says, yes, and our system is showing that it's um, not registered. I'm like, my car is real. My vehicle is registered. Here's the information, right? So, of course, your cell sitting there. He's very quiet, blah, blah, blah. When he comes back, he doesn't come to my window. He goes to your cell's window and asks your cell how long he and I have been together. Now, I usually would have bust out laughing because uh, that's what we do when we're amongst friends because we're all together. We were always together. I put my hand on his knee because that's where his hands was at. I feel like just all you got to know is that we're very happy. Your cell going to take his hand and put it behind my neck. Yeah, this is the love of my life. Now, it's very hard for me not to laugh at this situation because the cop gonna tell me one thing that is an abomination what we were doing and in the bible it says that you need to stay with your own kind now as the cops let us go you know he gives me my license my registration whatever as we're driving away we bust out laughing but the cop continued to follow me for a few now this was funny to yourself and i specifically because i'm a heterosexual female and he's gay and not just that, his maternal grandmother is a black woman. Yeah, he looks like that. His eyes are actually blue. His other grandmother is transparent white. So, uh, his brother also looks different. So, so the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black. So you don't date black women because you're afraid of black men. I mean, granted, you didn't say that. But that is kind of what you're saying. So listen, rest assured, if the woman is beautiful, it don't matter what your race is. You might have to fight. And it seems like you think it's because you're not black. No, black men experience similar things while, while on dates with their significant others. And 
occasionally, you might have to throw some hands. What it really sounds like to me is that you weren't into black women to begin with. And um, you were just looking for a reason not to date them to, to begin with. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women now, Cameron, <laughs> we gonna need you to tell us what really happened. Did you try to make a black joke that came off as high key racist and she never called you again? Did you make the fatal mistake of trying to touch her hair before you even got to fucking know her? Did you ask her all the dumbass stereotypical questions most of us black women get when trying to date outside of our race? Or did the stares of other men who found her just as attractive make you uncomfortable and you didn't know what to do? It's okay to be honest about what really made you uncomfortable, but it's not okay is to try to paint black men as aggressive. They do that enough in the news, so we're going to need you to really be honest as to what really happened on that day, because, sorry, I'm not buying it. And I don't think much of black TikTok is either. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black Anybody knows me knows that I am not afraid to date multiculturally at all. Um, preferably non-white, but I've been dating a few of them too. This a black man never looked at me crazy being on the date. I'm not going to say they looked at me crazy, but they looked at me, but I don't think okay. He probably trying to make sure I'm okay. He probably concerned for my safety while I'm with this non-black person. Like, you okay, sis? <laughs> now, if he got something sweet to say in his mind, that's his business. They ain't got nothing to do with me and the person I'm on a date with. So, I just don't understand. But I'm also not going around trying to petition for a white man to date black women. So, don't be resistant. Don't nobody give a fuck. So, the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black. If you interracially date, you need to know that this is gonna happen. It happens. You can walk into an establishment and everybody's gonna stare. But honestly, who fucking cares? Cause it's none of their fucking business at all. The only approval that you need is the person that's next to you, the person that you're on the date with. You have their approval cause they're on the date with you. That's all that matters. And if you're gonna exclude dating black women or potentially marrying a black woman because you're afraid of being stared at or you're afraid of what other people think bruh just stay inside stay home just stay home <laughs> like, I don't know black women are amazing and you're missing out now a lot of people actually agreed with him that that kind of situation usually happens when a white man is dating a black woman uh, or married to a black woman you are you are going to get stares even the black woman is going to get a lot of um kind of attitude from the black men and some of them have explained that uh, some people will see like betrayal and some people are like envious some people are like oh a black woman should not be dating a white man but they the black men can date white women and a whole whole a whole lot of um resistance usually comes up when um black women are dating white men now personally i don't think i've experienced such i don't know about that white man white man dating a black woman and getting resistance from black men um physically but the thing is that when i check the comment section of the shade room on ig on instagram especially when um they post a couple that is um interracial so if, the, if it's a black woman and a white man the comments that i see from some black men are really like disturbing so i can understand that some people will get bold enough to actually do it physically uh, or offline because the comments i see is just it's just weird it's very uh, it's very disturbing um even even some other um couple channel or couple pages or something um if they are interracial if it's a black man if it's a black woman and it's a white man you get some nasty 
comments recently i saw a video of a black man is an african man is the grandfather he and his granddaughter were um eating african food and the granddaughter was obviously biracial she was really like pale uh, and some people were in the comment section and they were like oh you're an african man and your granddaughter is looking like that this and i was like wow wow and they were like harassed talking in a particular way that oh he allowed his uh, daughter to marry a white man and he doesn't understand and, and someone was like they don't they, he doesn't understand why african women will be going to marry white men and i was just like oh my goodness oh my goodness it was a nice good feeling video and they wanted to turn the comment section into something else so i can understand that they might get resistance um offline so it's possible um that reaction of black men to white men dating black women on offline of course now now this is where the um drama comes into place this particular creator, the original creator that talked about why he's no longer dating or he's resistant to dating black women, um, his video got to the three black women, allegedly, that he dated. And they had things to say about his video and their dates. So the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women Yes, hello. I was one of the women that he went out with and um I don't know what Cam is talking about, but what no guys, no black guys looking at us, giving us dirty looks. Um I think Cam had a little bit too much wine that night. So maybe he thought he saw black guys looking at him or giving him the evil eye, but nah nah nah. Mm -mm. Cam was a total gentleman. He bought me some flowers he bought my favorite chocolates and he was just a joy to be around the whole night and i'm actually looking forward to seeing him again hey cam call me dm me bye kind of aggressive toward us i just want everybody to know that cam cam's lying Cam is lying right now, okay? Because I'm actually the black woman that he went on a date with and we had a fucking great time. I don't know what he's talking about. Anybody was glaring at him either because I do remember three black men coming to us on our date. But the first one actually came up, gave him debt and was like, okay, I see you. The second one came up and was like, yo, you want to join my three on three team at LA Fitness? Because I see you with a sister. You must have hops, right? That's what's happened. And they exchanged numbers. The third one actually came up and he was like, okay, white boy. Okay, white boy. I see you got a queen out here, white boy. I see you. Go ahead, white boy. That's exactly what happened. That happened. That's exactly. So Cam is lying to the internet right now. No black men glared no black man said anything negative to him and they actually asked him to join their basketball team said that he had hops because he was on a date with me so like i said i don't know why he's on the internet line the date went excellent we had a great time i had my notebook with all my notes that i needed for the experiment that i obviously was doing to be on a date with a man like that i have all the information that i have from that including the fact that he was gonna get on the internet after we went on that date and lie to y'all and like clearly like i said my hypothesis observation and result and conclusion is correct that he was gonna get on the internet and lie and clearly he did because that's all y'all know to do is lie anyway so to those three black men the one that gave the depth the one that asked me to join the basketball Team and oh, I see you white boy stitch this video stitch my video to confirm that Cam is lying to everybody because I know y'all gonna see this video and let everybody know that Cam lying because I remember y'all y'all came up to us and you about it ain't nobody glad him didn't nobody say nothing negative at all he whole, whole face lying and for everybody watching this video I guarantee you my story sound more realistic than what the fuck he just said you know it <laughs> exactly that's all I got to say okay have a good day the reason I hesitate or feel resistant toward dating black women is because I've been on dates with three different black women what he's not gonna tell you is is that the last date that he went on which was with me um i'm assuming i don't even know if there was someone after me but we clearly did more than date clearly and for whatever reason he's not bringing it up it's fine but you will have to pay child support i'm going to take you to court cam i don't care what you say you can keep acting like oh the black men are getting on my nerves so i'm so scared sir they have nothing to do with your obligations and your responsibility. Come see your daughter. Come see her. Okay, Cam? Stop playing. I don't have time for it. If you don't, I will be sending my lawyers your way. You are more than a munch. Okay? Stop it. Now, 
the last person oh my god that is the drama now she's saying that allegedly he fathered her daughter and he has not even come to check um check the daughter and she's going to take him to court she's going to get child support that he's going to pay and i saw somewhere allegedly that he actually has three children with two black women and i'm like okay i don't know what's going on but the whole thing is that the drama of the third person let's leave it at that i don't know what you guys think about this whole discussion i don't know what you guys think about um black women saying that when they are dating white men they actually feel like um they get um kind of um hostile um behavior from black men and that um if a white man is interested in dating a black woman he has to take all the negativity that he might get and the resistance he might get i don't i don't know if you guys can um explain some of the reasons why it happens some creators have actually talked about the fact that it might be envy it might be the fact that they feel like black women only belong to black men it might be a lot of things but i would love to hear your own thoughts about the reasons why you think some black men might um look at white men in, that are dating black women in a particular way and also look at black women that are dating white men in a particular way so i would love to hear your thoughts about this topic so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye